Hello, in this video I'll be talking about Angular and the difference between Angular and JavaScript and as well as the initial basic concept of Angular so that you can start coding uh, in uh, TypeScript and Angular and develop, start developing uh, front-end applications. So let's start. So this is the basic Angular application which you will see uh, when you create an Angular app. So if you don't know how to create an Angular app, you can create using this command which you can see on the screen. ng new and your app name. Your app name. So I've already created and this is how it looks like. Uh, so the name is chatbot. Ignore the name as of now. Here you can see multiple folders and also few files. Don't worry about that. Right now we have to understand how Angular works. So to understand how Angular works, we have to understand the difference between Angular and JavaScript. So if you know how JavaScript works, uh, it acts, it only operates on uh, plain HTML and CSS files. Here in Angular, it is quite different. That's what we have to understand how it is happening. So if you can see the folder which the Angular, uh, you know, CLI creates is uh, the app folder, which is quite, uh, which is important to understand how uh, you know uh, the whole angular uh, you know front end works so so here you can see module.ts it tells some tells you something so that is module file and it is written in typescript similarly the component 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 all these are components and the types are different html css and spec.ts is a testing file and ts is typescript file so so consider now the TypeScript is JavaScript. TS is nothing but JavaScript. It compiles into JavaScript when you run this uh, Angular uh, uh, code. Let me run the Angular project now uh, in the development mode, obviously. So ng serve. So when it happens, I want to tell you that this is a normal HTML, and I said um, the TS acts as JavaScript. So here you can see exported as a class so here you can see the difference between typescript and javascript typescript supports classes inheritance and all other oops concepts i want to introduce you few properties of angular which is the first lesson to understand angular so i'll be creating more videos uh, regarding angular so consider this video as a first video in this in the series of angular tutorials coming up so once the ng serve command is uh, run successfully once the typescript is compiled to javascript uh, the angular is served uh, in the browser and you can see it uh, by going to localhost 4200 in your browser and you can already see here there is an input uh, box and a button click and I, if I click it nothing happens and there is a paragraph so let me change this paragraph to h1 so that it is visibly you know fine and um, if I reload it you can see chatbot here the angular works in such a way that your browser has to, uh, your browser finds the index.html file in your uh, angular project so it all starts from index.html and consider this file as you know the core file of whole angular project what you can see here is app root that's it in angular you can already see that thing but you can see chatbot which is written in uh, which is written in app component HTML how is that possible so it is all happening because the app root this structure in angular is called as a selector so if you go to ts file you can see it is written there within the decorator of the component uh, that the selector is app root 
so if, if you use this app root in a parent uh, HTML like in the hierarchy in that HTML that components all uh, HTML will be visible so that is how you know the, the chain is built so if you want to communicate with HTML in JavaScript what you had to do is was basically you have to you had to uh, uh, give uh, ID uh, give class to access the uh, you know button as well to access the element you had to give this um, ID and class on HTML and you had to what you had to do is use a document object which is Tom object and you had to do get element uh, by ID or class that's what I'm trying to tell you you can basically write uh, methods in this just like you do in um, uh, JavaScript hence it is a TypeScript and in Angular you can uh, implement a service or inject a service uh, to this uh, component as well so the first one is event binding so let me say let me take an event uh, click that means you are clicking the uh, button so let me take out this and click click is an event so what I said this first property is event binding so you are binding an event and what you are binding to when event happens you are calling a method so that is in this case is on click so on click is our method which I want to call so this is the way of event binding and the second type is property binding so what is a property binding so let me take an example here the tag image source the tag image so source is a property of image tag and source can be bound in angular so according to the property binding feature so property is bound using uh, the square bracket and what it is binding here is a variable a variable named image path so if image path can be found in TypeScript file like this the source can be detected so I am taking an image an example image path um, here from Google and if I reload the page I should be able to see it yes so this is what I have taken so now you can see that there is a communication happening between the TypeScript and the HTML file and the third property of feature is string interpolation let me take a simple example here tag p and if i use this syntax to opening and to closing of flower brackets and use the image path so if i reload that you can see the variable the string from the TypeScript file and the fourth feature is called two-way binding that is binding a property as well as an event so an event is always bound using uh, the normal brackets and a property is always bound using uh, square brackets so both are combined it's called two-way binding and uh, there's a special keyword for this and the keyword is ng modal and if I bind a variable let me take it as to to string so now as the to string variable is bound two way so now what is the use of this two way binding right so that is that can be visualized here visualized here in yeah here, here in on click so when you click what i do is this dot image path is equal to to string is equal to this dot to string and whatever is there in the to string variable i want to display it at the same time so we using string interpolation is that possible yes it is it is two-way binding 
slight mistake it is ng model now you should be able to reload yes and whatever i type you can see it is coming right in right below so the variable is also displayed here so this is called two way binding and it is the use of two way, two -way binding these are the powerful and useful basic tools of angular and also uh, the next step will be the communication between two component two typescript files that is also possible in the angular and also you can create different modules and you can communicate with each other using services and you can uh, import and inject the services into components and uh, you can communicate using services so there are a lot of things we will talk about all those things in the next video so till then take care subscribe if you have not subscribed already and if you like this video and if you find this helpful please like the video and comment below what else you want from me uh, what else you want me to teach you in the next video and till then take care see you bye